my dear Aquarius, this is your love and spirituality reading for the month of December 2018 with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. We are soon entering into Sagittarius season, so wish all Sagittarius out there a happy birthday. I hope you have had a lovely November, especially you Scorpios that just have celebrated or are about to celebrate your birthday. I myself have had the time to recuperate and have some days off. I have been able to both rest and get a lot of things done that was falling behind. I feel much more in balance between work and play with this new organization. So thank you so much for your patience and being so tolerant. Uh, I read for the signs in order of most liked videos. So hit the thumbs up button for your sign. And you can see the order I read in this time around at the community section of my channel. And thank you all for liking, watching, commenting, donating and subscribing to my channel. I am super grateful for all of your appreciation. This is a general reading for sun, moon and rising signs. For some people that watch the story I read can be in the reverse. The energy is the same. You are all part of the whole, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. For this reading, I will use the Druid Craft Tarot by Philip and Stephanie Cargom, illustrated by Will Worthington. And I will start shuffling your cards. So, my dear Aquarius, see what's going on with you this uh, December. So, when I open your deck here, I see Prince of Cups and King of Cups. So, that was kind of amazing. Uh, Prince of Cups is usually Pisces. King of Cups is, is Scorpio. And it might also be Cancer. It can be any sign. It doesn't have to be a water sign. Uh, it points to a gift of some sort or some kind of um, invitation. It can be uh, uh, someone that really feels deep love for you. And it might most likely mean also that you have been uh, able to master uh, the energy of your feelings. Uh, the Prince of Cups is not a deep diver in their feelings. Uh, that goes to the Queen of Cups. Uh, and the King of Cups is the person that have finally settled their emotion inside of them and made their inside to a beautiful home wherever you go there you are so it seems like you might have mastered this whole process of first starting to approach your feelings and investigating them and getting closer to them with this sense of adventure and in the end being able to find uh, peace in your own emotions and and um, calibrated them so that they work uh, for you, like a master of your own emotions, being able to know what they are telling you instead of freaking out by them. So very, very good. And someone might also be very much in love with you. Okay, so I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the hermit with the prince of cups. And we can see that these two people are looking in different direction, but they are both on the same quest. Uh, this person might be a little bit more spiritual, a little bit more advanced, and, and this might be a beginner seeker uh, searching for the Holy Grail. This person have their own awareness there, uh, and they can use this awareness to put this awareness on any object or inside themselves to get answers. It's your I in the I am, the, the person that watches through your eyes the person that hears your thoughts and feel your feelings. You are not your feelings, you are not your thoughts, uh, but you are the awakened presence. And this person has become rather awakened uh, and are following their inner voice to wherever it takes them. Uh, the Prince of Cups is a little bit more beginner with this, um, exploring their emotions, but might still be a little bit scared of them. Uh, but it shows like two people being on the same journey, but might need to go in different direction, even though there might be a lot of love there and even maybe uh, soulmates or someone that's working, two people that's working very tightly together uh, as a whole uh, on this spiritual journey. But there might be different roads that needs to be taken well, to do the same thing. <laughs> actually so uh, i called the four archangels in the four corners of the world and here we have a uh, prince of swords to say together with a prince of cups so princess of swords sorry uh, and the princess of swords is um, a bearer of of justice and truth but it's a very young energy so it can be a little bit undiplomatic sometimes very blunt and straightforward speak your truth even if your voice shakes 
so it seems like the person that holds the the Virgo hermit energy might be uh, a person that have feel forced to tell the truth uh, in this situation, maybe to, to this other person. In, in some way, I feel like an impatient towards this person for not being able to, um, for not being able to um, approach their emotion without being scared. Uh, so um, this energy feels a little bit more blunt, a little bit more um, yes, it, it's a little bit impatient, okay, it wants a change and it wants it now. It's like when Jesus went into his father's temple and drove out all the merchandisers. So it's, it's a very rebellious energy. It's like a person destroying old altars. Um, it might be the altar of the divine masculine, since we saw both the prince and the king here when we started, uh, to make them approach their own emotions. Uh, so, and it can be the divine masculine side in all of us uh, or in just one person for your life uh, when it shows in your, your life. So, I call the six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Aquarius viewers. So I want my dear Aquarius to have love in their lives and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. Oh, okay, so it was done. I hope you like my new uh, clothing. I had the uh, old for a year, so it was time to have a new view. Okay. Uh, so I will just tune in to uh, you, Aquarius, and this um, time of December for a few seconds here. So, my dear Aquarius, uh, this is your future there. And this is your now there. And this is the past. So in the past, we see the three of wands. So the three of wands, um, it feels a little bit like the same energy as this page of swords. Uh, three of wands is a very determined energy. It's feminine. It's connected to the empress uh, energy. So it's someone that wants to be creative, wants to have things done, wants to reach a goal. Uh, but it needs to be in certain terms because in other case, the goal won't be fulfilling. Uh, so it might be that you want a certain job, but then you also want nice co-workers and maybe a nice environment. In other case, doing the work won't be fulfilling. Or you might want a relationship, but you don't want one that's not committed because that wouldn't be fulfilling and so on. So the three of wands, it um, can be people coming together, doing some kind of spiritual work or uh, working on a project together. So they might be on the same road um, either uh, knowingly, like they know that they are on the same road, or it might be a spiritual road where they are, we don't, don't know that they are on the same road, but they are. So it can be very frustrating sometimes when you feel you're being shuffled together with other people that doesn't really suit you, but you might have uh, some kind of goal together. And just, just this thing that you don't get along so well uh, might be the thing that will give you the exact experience that you need for this lifetime because the three of wands is also about experiences adventures um, not having like living in paradise already but being on a quest and uh, and doing amazing things uh, so being a little bit tested also and the test uh, is much about uh, finding your own way and trusting your own instincts no matter what uh, so this is uh, the now and we have a princess of wands so three of wands together with the princess of wands probably means some kind of communication some kind of um, a very social com uh, communication it's uh, for reaching this goal or or um, this project or being able to sort something out or get more friends into your life or get more uh, people working together with you on this project so it's like a calling out to the people who wants to join you, who wants to go with you on this. Uh, so it might be that they will come through a message for you, some kind of offer or some kind of um, 
uh, people want to engage you in some way uh, with what they are doing or you might want to do this with other people so starting something it's like a new beginning where things are really starting to hit off and things are coming together and becoming in the right place and order for uh, for things to move on forward into the future on on the right course so it's it's very positive and uh, here you have your future and there we have the hangman of course there's always trouble in paradise yes <laughs> so the hangman is a, a great card because it shows that when you think that everything is in order and you're heading in one direction in full speed uh, for example you have decided to get rid of that troublesome wife or husband or uh, you have found uh, a new project or career that you are going to uh, go on forward with or you started a new business or whatever and then there's some hiccup either you you can't forget about the person that you ditched or the project doesn't go as well as you hoped so with the hangman there's something that's that has been missed something that hasn't been uh, completed just yet and needs to be uh, felt to be understood so it's like being in a, a, a trap of some sort or in a back alley and having no uh, comfortable way out of this uh, but growing uh, underneath uh, hard pressure uh, so it might be being scared for your finances or being left alone or maybe not getting things in the way you wanted them to and therefore you grow spiritually so it for many of you i see that there might be a romantic approach with someone wants to engage you in in the future that they see uh, but it m might be that you don't want to do this and this person will grow because of this because you um, you don't buy that kind of uh, offer uh, so it might be coming in an offer that you feel in some way are tainted or not good enough uh, so just trust your own in instinct because there's a divine plan here that wants to put everyone on their right place and, and give them the teachers, teaching that's necessary. And if you have been very optimistic and positive about some kind of project and then you will feel that there will be delays, there's probably some kind of divine timing at play. Um, something needs to be understood first maybe by you or by others something uh, knowledge that needs to be had to make the most um, prosperous um, progress uh, into the future so before you have kind of had this eureka moment and the penny falls down and you are like a light bulb here and lighted uh, you won't be able to move on but don't fret don't get uh, don't get frustrated whatever it is is fine uh, the divine is guiding you so sometimes when we have this more stillness of um, situation it's because we ne we really need to get close to ourselves and and to the spirits so we might not have time to run away uh, run around and do um, a lot of creative stuff uh, we might need to be in stillness so going on a retreat being silenced for a while might get you to where you need to go or or just taking a vacation uh, or something similar uh, if you um, if people try to rush on with this energy sometimes it happens that they uh, spray an ankle or something get a cold uh, so that they will be forced to stay with their inside and and figure this out it's like a, a download that wants to happen to you and if you run around like crazy it can't uh, catch up with you so you need to be in stillness to to get this kind of download and this eureka moment that needs to come uh, so there might be a little bit trier, tryouts with the hangman can sometimes be like a person being a little bit depressed but needs to go through that to, uh, to be able to get the knowledge uh, that can be found in the dark back alleys. Okay, uh, so this is your past and we have the magician and we have the magician there. We have the three of wands in the bottom and the magician. So it's it's forceful power. It's someone that wants to manifest a, a specific kind of future. Uh, they have a vision and they want that vision to be manifested in their life uh, accordingly to their plan. So it's like an architect that's um, making a drawing of a house and plans and then want people to work accordingly to that plan. So it's a person who wants a lot of power as well and might want to have control over a situation or even manipulate it 
uh, to their likings because an architect is very straightforward and everyone knows the hierarchy and uh, who is going to do what but when this is happening for example in your relationships you might have someone that wants to uh, wants to manipulate this relationship into some sort of um, certainty and um, might not always tell other people their plan uh, so that might be why you will feel a little bit uh, suspicious if you are being approached with a certain plan because you feel that there might be something more the magician is a trickster always have something in the back the back po pocket it doesn't have to be like that the person can be having um, <laughs> like uh, a good um, um, in intention but it's hard to say that when I hold the card of the magician that's the trickster okay so the next card here is the chariot so this is someone that um, they have made the plans they are uh, going to the building site they are going to sh see too that things are being built in the order that they wanted to so this might be definitely someone approaching you or you approaching something a project, a person, an adventure, something. So it's very, um, it's very mi like a hard mindset on a certain goal. Someone that wants something in a certain way, very my way or the highway feeling, uh, very positive, uh, very full of power, uh, very full of energy to be able to actually go through with this, um, this kind of. Um, change or this kind of forward movement so the next card here is the seven of cups so we have the seven chariot and the seven of cups sevens are spiritual challenges uh, it's about um, you have or this person have a certain goal or want something but the, don't see the whole picture they might not see their own projections they might not see uh, their own feelings behind this why do I want the thing I want what is the reason to I want people in my situation to conform to what I want uh, we don't know the reason we just uh, wants to avoid to feel bad and these bad feelings are probably the gateway uh, to the spiritual knowledge that you and maybe another person in your life needs uh, so if the plans are disrupted in some way, it's because we need to feel bad, kind of. But the bad feelings are going to lead you to a new epiphany. So if things doesn't feel all right, deep dive into those feelings. Go into this wisdom well and find out what's the problem. Because uh, this whole setting is made for you to feel in a certain way or for another person to feel in a certain way, to get to know themselves better and get epiphanies. Uh, but they usually, why they want control over this situation and want things in a certain way, it's because they want to avoid bad feelings. Uh, so might, for example, be a person that wants to approach you with love, uh, but uh, don't want a love that's for you but for themselves because they need you to make themselves feel great so it's not a specifically um, it's a rather selfish energy uh, and um, here they might need to go deeper to a level where they can understand their own feelings and uh, therefore be able to approach you or you approach another person in a way that's more sincere that's more uh, it's without the projections without the drama without the uh, I hide what I really feel or yeah so on so uh, the seven of cups uh, can be a situation where we have a lot to choose from and we don't know what to choose we don't know what kind of future we want we have the car started here we are on the race and then suddenly where am i going i don't know why did i want this in the first place i don't know and usually the answer is deeper in your childhood in past lives uh, in your um uh, dramas people have certain circles of dramas in their lives that will uh, reveal a lot of what it is that they need to learn uh, so when things repeat again and again uh, just go deeper every time and try to do something different every time to 
to get the answers you need. So this is about getting answers and finding them in very difficult feelings. Uh, so <laughs> I'm feeling a lot of different things here, but specifically the feelings of someone that has a very positive plan and then um, they kind of want to go around an obstacle, but then this plan is going to lead them straight towards this obstacle. Okay, uh, so that was the past. So someone didn't get their will through. Uh, actually, they had um, the solution didn't come and they instead were uh, kind of left with their own uh, broken emotions that um, they usually run away from, but now are faced with. Uh, so this is the now and th there we have this scenario I just described with being with your sad emotions and having to deal with them. So this is spelled like this three, the very hopeful thing that this person had. We also have the world card here and the star card. So I'm thinking uh, there's some kind of closure that hasn't been made. Um, maybe you didn't have the success you wanted or, or you uh, have there's a lack of closure between you and other people. Uh, but there's a real soul connection here and the person feels it, but they wanted maybe this situation or you wanted this situation in in a specific way. And, and now uh, you are left with this not having things your way or the person is left with having things not their way but the love is still there between these people or the love for this project or the um, lingering energy of hope for uh, the future is still there uh, so this is just a time when we start to figure out what's what and approach our sad emotion instead of running away from them usually with the five of cups we want to run away seven of cups we want to run away but this is telling go there and uh, find your roots swim down in the pond to the bottom of the pond dig yourself into the bottom of the pond to the mud and and find what's buried there uh, so if you uh, need to feel depressed feelings feel them to your full extent stay with them welcome them uh, be friends with them and uh, you will make uh, this home inside of you that whatever happens you will be fine and and you will have less control issues and you can also see other people in your surroundings struggling with this not having things in the way they wanted it and and need to deal with that uh, so and here we have as we saw with uh, the two of cups that the love is still there so it, maybe it doesn't matter to get things in the way we want. Uh, maybe we just want the thing we want. Um, that doesn't mean you should step into a codependent situation uh, with anyone. But uh, you might need to look at your demands. Um, you might need to look at uh, your attachment style and things like this. Because um, even through all these hardships that have happened... There's still love here. So um, then the answer is something else. Okay, it's not getting uh, the thing I want. It's, it's maybe getting more communication or getting uh, two people working together for real. Instead of trying to trick and manipulate each other, uh, maybe they're meeting each other in true love and finding out, okay, so we have tried everything and we... It doesn't work in the way we want it to, but we still love each other. Or this project doesn't work in the way I want it to, but I still want it. So maybe uh, the needs compromise needs to be made, but equal compromise, not uh, where one person compromise and the other person doesn't, because that is um, it's like beating a dead horse. Okay, but here it's not a dead horse. The love is there, but it might be a little bit hard for this here this energy to acknowledge that as we see it's very hard it's even depressing um, they might want to be the kind of person that doesn't feel a thing uh, and that makes them uh, unstoppable but here uh, the divine is forcing them to feel this thing and uh, they need to instead of being unstoppable they need to be a little bit more receptive and maybe work together with you or you need to work together with other people in an, in another way that's not my way or the highway 
uh, but actually some kind of compromise and both people are or both parties are agreeing on uh, doing some progress uh, maybe one side needs to be more uh, present and the other person uh, other side might need to be less demanding it can be different things like that okay and the next card is the three of cups so it seems like this is the doable road to accept the emotion that they are there and, and acknowledge them uh, acknowledge the love and 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 put away a little bit of the demands but it needs to be done by all the people involved here it can't just be one that's okay deciding i want peace in this situation so i'm going to do whatever it takes no everyone involved needs to have been pushed to that place that they want peace and then this can be starting to work and it's a three again so we have this three 21 2 plus 1 3 the hangman 12 1 plus 2 is 3 3 of wands 3 of cups so there's really a longing from the divine point of view of people coming together and working together as a whole the holy trinity instead of having individualistic thoughts about things uh, some people we have been in a circle where uh, the people that was before codependent to maybe an abuser of some sort have been forced to become more my way or the highway uh, because it was necessary to uh, reach some kind of point of balance. But here it says balance. So this might be a point of time in December when there is a possibility of reaching balance and, and actually equal amount of effort and love in a situation so that's that's the eureka moment i would guess because for many people that would be it's like a miracle oh that can't happen um queen of cups that won't uh, <laughs> be able to happen my relationships has never been like that they have never been equal but here the divine says if people have suffered enough not getting their plans through and still feeling the love then that's when they start to think, okay, maybe there's another way than to get it my way. And also they have been forced to approach their own feelings. So they are not so scared about them anymore. So they don't need to be so controlling because uh, they don't need to control their emotions anymore. Whatever happens is fine. Uh, so it gives more jiggle room when people are not so scared of their own inside. It makes people more brave and more easily approachable and so on. Okay, so this is your future, and in the future we have Five of Wands. Uh, so Five of Wands is this combat that has been on the uh, underneath the surface all the time, and that they, there's no equalness. People are not seeing eye to eye. Actually, they are seeing the most loved one as their enemy. So it's like sibling rivalry or. Um, immature love relationships where we are actually trying to win over the other person instead of cooperating with them the five wants is um, um, kind of the essence in human relationships it's when we battle things out and eventually we start to learn from each other like this uh, we learn this person learned from that person um, getting uh, inspiration things that they didn't they weren't able to digest before like a political view or uh, a music taste, they are now able to digest it and see the other person's point of view. This person, hopefully, too. So if both are, uh, there will be some kind of um, melting together where um, the, both these people are starting to uh, become more and more like each other. But they are actually expanding. They are being more than they, that they were before. But the process itself can be a lot of bickering, a lot of petty argument, um, and uh, on an immature level also trying to win over other people. So this element se seems to still be here, even though the person here, this little bit selfish person, trickster, manipulator, have gone through a lot of things that was very hurtful, and still they want to win. Uh, so um, there's a road f that's, um, that's possible here, that's a chance that's possible here, uh, for meeting each other halfway and in love. But someone uh, kind of don't want to do that. So that's probably why we have the hangman here. Uh, there's a possibility and they feel the same. Okay, people feel the same in this situation. But some person doesn't want to conform to this love. They still wants to win. There needs to be a way. They're going to find 
<laughs> another way to have things um, my way or the highway. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. And here we have the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands underneath the Chariot and the Two of Cups. Okay, so the other party will uh, be very upfront with this and speak uh, without hostility and very clear, putting the finger on uh, the, the exact place where what the other person is doing. So uh, if we have your, um, um, your uh, some kind of relative maybe, coming in and saying something to you about your home, for example. So why do you have things like this? Uh, then you will be able to say exactly, uh, I have invited you to my home. I love you to be here, but please don't criticize uh, the things in my home because that makes me mm, think that maybe I want to invite you uh, to <laughs> again, okay, for a very long time until you have learned to not um, criticize. And the other person might say, I'm sorry, um, I didn't mean it that way. I meant, uh, what I actually meant was, do you need some help with cleaning? Because I am bored uh, out of my skull and I would love for us to uh, fix up this place. Uh, so, um, people might sometimes have a very conflicted way of communicating. Seven of Cups here, Five of Wands, even though they love each other. Uh, so, a very upfront, clear communication might be needed or will be needed uh, for things like this to be resolved. Don't be, uh, don't be bitter, don't feel victimized by people acting in ways that you don't like. Tell them instead. And you can tell them in very nice ways. Um, don't say like that when you are in my home. I love for you to be here, but don't, don't say that, okay? Here's a cookie. <laughs> so, uh, and we can have to do this many, many times. What I also see is like a little bit of a male energy that wants to fight for this. Okay, so they might want to reach out again and again and again and again to fight for this. But this is the, it's the fighting spirit here still. So they kind of wants to win you. That makes me think that there's still not equality, but they actually want the game or the chase. Uh, so... But sometimes uh, we need to go back to our very uh, reptile ways to, uh, that's the way that divine can use against us to put us in the place that they want to have us. So making us chase something that seems unreachable or very hard to get. Uh, but in the same time, it's a um, um, little bit caveman mentality or cave woman mentality for that matter. Okay, and here we have the Prince of Swords. So Prince of Swords uh, can be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. <laughs> so it might be talking about you. Uh, Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, Prince of Swords. But I'm thinking it's this truthful speaking. Uh, Seven of Cups, uh, it has this, I know my feelings now. I know what I want. I want this harmony. I want harmony, okay? <laughs> and I don't... Okay, these, these are both battling energies, but it feels like one person is battling to get the other person to stop battling. So it's a, it's a little bit, I don't know if this is an approachable way to go forward with things. Um, but what I'm feeling here, uh, what my first uh, feeling was that this person, it's like this little bit edgy answer I gave to this relative in the first place. Like you won't be invited anymore. So this is where I'm seeing things going. It's, it's um, a rather healthy road, but it won't lead to immediate peace. There might be some little love rendezvous here uh, in December. Like people coming together and love each other. But then um, there's still things being in need of resolve resolving things need to be spoken out very clearly but be careful of being uh, too uh, non-diplomatic uh, saying the things that i said maybe you won't be invited anymore uh, might be a little bit of an overkill okay uh, so um <laughs> i hope uh, you get what kind of um, energy we are talking about. We have Christmas coming up, so people will probably, even if there have been some kind of uh, difficulties here, there might be 
uh, happy times with family over Christmas. Uh, but then after Christmas, we still need going to have to deal with this. Like this needs to be resolved. Someone needs to leave their old ways. It might be um, a Leo, for example. Uh, we have Leo there. Um, sometimes this is depicting uh, Pisces. It's Uranus or Neptune energy as well. Um, and this is Sagittarius energy and we have a lot of water in this reading but i'm thinking it's because people need to approach their emotions um so um what you need to do here is to start to see what your emotion wants to tell you and very um very truthfully tell this to the environment and it will be probably rather blunt in the beginning because we are unexperienced we don't know how to say those things, we are used to being very polite, even towards people that's very unpolite. And here we start to be like the unpolite people. And at first it will be like that, two unpolite people instead of one unpolite and one victim. Uh, and that might be the road that needs to be traveled on because um, you can't learn how to run before you have learned how to crawl. So first you might be saying things very bluntly and undiplomatically. And um, when the time comes, there will be a little bit more diplomacy in this matter. Okay, <laughs> so I will take um, uh, Oracle of the Angels uh, card for you. See what's going on with my Aquarius. Okay, so I feel two cards. And we have energy and awakening. So uh, we have a lot of energy here. Uh, so I'm thinking there's something new that's awakening within you. Uh, you are getting more sure um, of love. Um, maybe it's your self-love that has gotten you to this place where you feel more sure uh, of the love being there. Uh, so you are not afraid of chasing it away just because you need to say the truth to someone. So you're going to say the truth to someone and still feel uh, loved. Even if that person walks away, you will feel loved. So I'm thinking it's the self-love that's making this happen. Um, and I will also read this card for you. Energy and Awakening. Oh, it's 29 and 30. So that's rather interesting too. So I'll read them. Um, uh, in this order, the number order. This is a period of great spiritual awakening for you. You are being initiated into a new higher level of existence. It's like with the hangman there. Uh, something that you didn't want to do maybe, but then, now you have to do it. You have felt the resistance towards telling people the truth because you do, didn't want to be rude or you didn't want the consequences of these actions. But now it's like the penny has dropped and and this is just the natural course of direction. Uh, you may have noticed some unexpected changes taking place in your life. This is all part of your preparation. You are drawing ever closer to the divine. And once this process is complete, you will feel a greater degree of connection as well as an increased capacity to love and be loved. I open my heart and spread my wings towards what is true. I lift my thoughts towards God, nature, beauty. May the spiritual consciousness in me awaken in love and in wisdom. So be it. Uh, so, uh, I don't know if I've gotten that card before, but it's very much what I, what I said uh, from the beginning. So it makes me feel that you have really found this fountain of love inside of you. Uh, our thoughts and feelings are energy. Everything we think and feel flows into the world like radio waves. So it's much like the magician energy here. Whether we intend to broadcast our feelings and thoughts does not matter. It happens automatically. Uh, so um, your uh, thoughts and your words become the house you live in. Uh, human consciousness is like the world wide web. We also saw the, the world card underneath there. Um, you, yeah, uh, we transmit and receive information, energy. Uh, all in life is energetically in, interconnected. You may be missing someone who is a long way from you, or you may be saddened by a loved one passing. Through this card, this person wants to make their presence felt. 
They want you to know that they have not left you and will never leave for you are forever connected by invisible threads of love. Like the Hermit and the Pisces that we saw, the Knight of Pentacles. No, Knight of, Knight of Cups. It doesn't have to be a Pisces. It can be actually an Earth sign as well. Any person that is a little bit beginner in this and maybe you feel a little bit more advanced. Um, yes, they haven't left you and they forever connect by invisible threads of love. Love is energy. Love transcends time and space. There is positive energy all around. I am spiritually connected to those I love. Time and space does not exist within my soul. Um, so many of you feel very, uh, very, how can I say this? Uh, it's like an anxious energy um, because you don't have the, uh, the fruitation of the love. But the love is still there and there's still work to be done to be able to have maybe this um, uh, kind of fulfillment. Uh, for for a longer period of time instead of just sniffing on it now and then uh, i will read the two of cups card since we have a lot of uh with the love thing here two of cups and it's the center card of the this reading as well so to share the cup of our heart soul and body with another seems the fulfillment of life's purpose in love the two becomes one again Receiving this card points to the power of experience of love. You may be going through the early stages of falling in love with all the excitement and passion that romance brings. Whether the relationship will last is not indicated by this card, but may possibly be determined by surrounding cards. The focus of this card is on the meeting of hearts and the creative blessings that result from this. For this reason, reason, it may point to a romantic relationship or it could indicate a creative and fertile working relationship, a close and fruitful friendship or any situation in which there is a meaning of, meeting of hearts, minds and soul. Uh, love is a healing force and at its heart, the Two of Cups is about the power of love and the way it brings opportunities or polarities together. This is polarities definitely and unites them. Receiving it may therefore not be pointing to a relationship itself, but rather towards the use of power of love to heal, to engender cooperation or to um, effect reconciliation. The time may have come for you to use this power to calm, connect or unite. Uh, so love is going to be there as a stabilizer uh, when the truth is being told. Uh, I'm also going to take a card for you from the notes from the universe on love and connection not my dolly so for my dear aquarius card from this deck we have this uh, don't be misled when fear speaks it's always wrong unless being chased by wildebeests and when love speaks it's always right and usually bouncy game on the universe uh, so I'm thinking you might be uh, approaching or fearful fe people might be approaching you. Uh, and um, this is what you need to deal with. Calm the situation with love and tell the truth. So that's the way uh, you steer this uh, boat uh, relationship into the right direction. <laughs> so when fear speaks, it's always wrong unless you're being chased by wildebeests. Uh, that was a good saying. Okay, uh, so my dear Aquarius, I hope this will help you get through the month of December. And I also want to welcome you back to my uh, January reading. Uh, time is moving fast that I will perform uh, uh, in the middle of December before Christmas. So uh, until then, I want you to take really, really good care. And um, yes, um, show the love, but also show the strength. And, and truth so truth shall uh, maybe piss people off first but then it will set you all free okay bye bye